hey guys it's Lydia this is real time this is actually me in my house in Florida and we're back from our trip and I just want to give you an update of what's going on in real time because I know a lot of you are confused as to what happened following Mike's videos he's way ahead of me so um, I fell really far behind on this trip um, so I just want to explain why and I also want to bring you up to date to what's going on because there's so much that has gone on here it seems that um, we had a dramatic trip so I want to bring you to what's going on I had a great time on this trip I thank Mike for coming on this trip with me I brought him along because he's a good friend and he knows a lot about boondocking and I've been RVing for uh, over three years oh, it's going to be four years in November and I mostly did RV parks that was what I did Christian started very young with me when we started RVing and but he's at an older age now and I really want to get off of the RV park thing and do a little bit more wild camping and do a little bit more boondocking and that's why um, I you know I'm, I'm Mike was here and um, he did some work for me and he's a good friend, we became good friends, and I brought him on this trip because he also um, talked me into getting solar panels for my RV, which I invested in. So, um, you know, I took him on this trip with us so that we could learn a lot of, um, of stuff on the road, which I am so grateful for because I learned a lot, and I'm also grateful that he was with us because he was also able to show Christian a lot of things that, you know, that I as a woman can't teach a, a young man so he I'm grateful for him for doing all that for me as well he's been a good friend to us my last video we were in Louisiana and I'm gonna cut the next place that we went to was Texas and before we get to Texas I'm gonna cut back because there's so much I mean I have my camera in my hand all the time I'm always filming he's driving so I'm doing all the filming I'm filming in the car I'm filming outside I'm filming this I'm filming that I'm just like so much filming there's so much footage um, and I'll be bringing you all the videos in sequence once I bring you up to date to what's going on. My RV is not here anymore and it was taken away by the insurance company this week. That was our home. That was our home for three months. If, luckily for me, I had an easy situation because our, my RV was paid for. So I didn't have a bank. I didn't have a lien. I didn't have anything like that to, to get in the way of, of that situation. We got into another storm and when we got to Colorado and it was it was devastating on my RV but we didn't know how devastating it was until we actually were turning back to go back home because um, we were we had gotten up to Utah and we were actually going to be that day we were going to travel up to Idaho and start going up to Washington but what happened was my mom called me because my dad was really sick my dad has prostate cancer he's been dealing it with, with it for a while now and she said that he was getting really bad. I decided to head back so that I could be with him before um, it got too bad and I could also help her out with him. It just turns out to me that the way that I see it is that the universe knew that I wanted a truck camper for a long time. I didn't really want this big rig. Um, I have a video I'm going to be doing about talking about um, some of the problems that we had traveling with such a big um, trailer and stuff like that. When you want to do the kind of stuff that I wanted to do. This was my first new RV and I was so excited. I decorated it, I fixed it, and it took me so many places and so many good times. So, but I'm ready to move on. I am ready. I just... I, it, was a, it was a decision that I made to come back. And it wasn't until we were coming back to Florida when we actually hit um, Arizona is that when we realized how bad the damage was. It was pretty bad. So I have an, a, a video coming up going to post this right after the, the the event that happened in Colorado I want to post that video because um, I want to talk about the insurance situation and some of the things that I learned as far as um, if this happens to you on the road um, what you need to do and um, some of the things that that I want to tell you happened to me so I think it's important for me to get that out right at this time and not have to wait to like you know you'll probably be watching videos for a while because I'm really dealing right now with um, trying to get the truck camper, trying to get my truck serviced so that I can get the camper on there. Um, Mike's also um, s selling his, uh, his, his van and he's sleeping over there and he's trying to find something as well. Christian's homeschooling. Armando's been in the hospital twice and I have to get down to see him. 
and then I have the situation with my dad. So it's a lot of things that's going on here. Um, I'm going to try and, and uh, edit as much as I can, but um, I'm also going to be, now that I'm back home, I'm also going to be posting some things on homesteading, so you'll see some of that. You'll also see some things from the vintage show that I went to. Um, I still haven't finished. There's about two more videos coming up of more vintage um, RVs, so I'm also going to be posting that. But what I really want to do right now is bring you to the real time, to what happened, just so you know what happened and you can see it, and then I'll bring you back. And, and in, in the sequence of events of everything back until we get back home and because I'm doing that it's because I don't have an RV right now so I can't film RVing videos when I don't have an RV so it works out perfectly that I have all of this footage that I can bring to you during the time that I'm um, looking and preparing for my next rig so I mean it actually will work out fine and I will of course be filming all of that as well so you'll also be seeing a lot of that um, in the future the next video that you watch after this is going to be what happened in Colorado I'll just cut right to the chase of what happened and then um, I'll just let you know to go back and, um, and we'll just start posting again videos after we left Louisiana thanks for watching thanks for all your wonderful comments and support I know a lot of you um, wrote to me and, and said some beautiful things obviously I can't I mean I, I used to be able to answer everybody and I want to I really in my heart I want to but I just the time doesn't permit me to so stay tuned guys because I'm gonna be posting some clips of our trip right about now it's going to the RV and coming back oh let me do a walkthrough of the bathroom I'm trying to finish it off I don't drink so I'm already feeling woozy so that's why I ordered the food really cool. Oh my gosh, look at these colors. RV is like over there and we're over here and we're like homeless. Like my stuff is in the car. Got my bag with the school stuff here. I can't sit and do anything. I feel trapped. I'm so disappointed in the industry. I'm so disappointed. Not a Colorado Springs. We're out of here. No more hail. The guy said that my hail in my hail again. Hopefully we'll make it. Okay, guys. This is what he's doing to me. Check. You said that. You said you check the weather. Oh, I can tell you what the weather is. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Would you like to subscribe to text alerts to receive basic information about your claim? Sure. And I'd like to know if there's anything nearby me. What day would you be alive? Today. And oh, I got a new hat at Walmart because the sun is killer when I'm sitting here. Excuse me. Subscribe if you haven't. I don't know what you're waiting for. There's so much drama coming up. I mean. Who wouldn't want to see RV drama? You know how that hey is. Hey guys, we are now an off-grid, self-reliant RV. Subscribe to watch us on the road as we put this RV to the self-sustainable test. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoy the efforts we are putting out. As always, thanks for watching.